In this video, I'm gonna show you to quickly and easily reset WordPress to default settings. And along the way, I'm gonna show you some stuff you never thought you could do. And it's pretty cool, it's gonna save you a lot of time. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where I help entrepreneurs make more money with WordPress. Now let's get started. For this tutorial, we're gonna pretend that we delivered this website to our clients. Now we wanna reset it to default settings or close to default settings so we can quickly and easily start a new website build on the same domain. The easiest way to do that, that I've found, is log into your client site or the website you're working on, go to plugins and add a new plugin. Look up WP Reset. This is the plugin we want right here. Click on Install Now and then Activate. And before we get into the nitty gritty of the plugin, I wanna show you what we have currently on the site so we can compare it to what we're gonna have after we reset it. So we saw the home page already, looks quite nice. We also have in addition to that multiple pages, they're listed here. Some are made in Elementor, some are not. We have media inside the media folder. We have Elementor installed right here. We have a bunch of different plugins installed and themes as well. So we have the Astro theme installed and then we have the regular WordPress themes here. For the WP Reset plugin, under Tools, it adds a new option called WP Reset. Here, we can see what the free version can do, which is the middle column. The Options Reset is a pro tool and the Nuclear Reset is also a pro tool. You can imagine what the Nuclear Reset does. And the Options Reset is more of a soft touch where you just reset the options in the site. And the site reset deletes a lot of stuff that you want to delete to start a new site. So everything with a garbage can is deleted. Everything with a check mark stays. So for the free version, post pages and custom post types, deleted. Comments, deleted. All the media, deleted. Media files, stay. I'm not sure what the difference is between media and media files. Users, deleted. User roles, deleted. The current user, me, stays. Widgets, deleted. Database transients deleted. Settings and options from various WP plugins, themes, the core deleted. The site title, WP address, site address, search engine visibility, and time zone stay. These are the things you'd set on this domain when you're setting it up. And if it's a development domain, you wouldn't change these very often. So it's nice that those aren't deleted. Site language stays. Data and all the default WP tables deleted. Database tables with a custom prefix or with the prefix of WP underscore deleted. Everything else you see here stays for the free version. And to make this work, all you have to do is scroll down to the site reset area, and we can choose to reactivate our current theme after the reset. We can choose to reactivate the WP reset plugin. We can choose to reactivate all current active plugins or none of those, uncheck everything. I'm gonna reactivate WP reset because we want to learn about the reset plugin, mostly. Something you can do before you delete anything is create a snapshot. This snapshot can be reverted back to if something goes wrong. I'm gonna create the snapshot, it's super easy. This takes a few seconds, snapshot created. This is stored on the website server. If you have a paid version of WP Reset, it'll be stored in the cloud. To actually reset the settings and the files and everything, we type reset in there, click on reset site, Click on Reset WordPress. All your content's gonna be lost when you do this. There's no undo unless you have a snapshot, which we do in this case. So now we have reset everything. It's gone. Not everything. My user's still here. The WP Reset plugin's still here. A bunch of site functions are still here so we can quickly and easily start working on the new site and not have to worry about rebuilding everything from scratch. If you visit the site, we see we're back to the 2024 theme and everything's as it should, it's all gone. The media, all gone. The pages, back to what you start with when you install WordPress. Themes, Astra is still here. If we check that box to activate Astra, it would have turned that back on. Maybe Astra is your go-to theme when you're making sites. So maybe you wanna have that reactivated when you reset the site. All the plugins that we had installed are still there. For the free version, it does not delete the plugins. And you can have them be activated as well. If you check that box from earlier, it would have activated all these plugins. And now our site's reset. That's how you do it. But there's some other stuff WP Reset does that you might not know about that's also really, really useful. But they come with the paid version. I happen to have the paid version, so I'm gonna activate that now. I'm gonna to go to Add New Plugin. I'm gonna upload a plugin. I'm gonna choose a file for my hard drive. Add that to there. Click on Install Now. And this is the WP Reset Pro. Replace the current uploaded version, so it's gonna replace the free version. Then we have to activate it with our license key. If we go to Tools, go to WP Reset, enter our license here. The license is in our dashboard. It's actually right here in the very front page. 
paste that into there, save and activate license, and now our license is activated. So now what we have access to, we had access to these tools as well. Some of them come in the free version. Some of them are pro, pro versions only for the tools. We were on the reset page earlier. So the tools has some additional stuff. The snapshots is where the snapshots are saved. We can see the snapshot right here that we made a few moments ago. If we wanted to revert back to that snapshot, all we'd have to do is click on restore snapshot. We have a warning here, as you can see, this is because we're doing this locally. If this was on a live host, that wouldn't be a problem. Under collections, this is one of the useful things that WP Reset does. If you have a set of plugins that you have to have with every WordPress site you develop, or maybe there's a set of plugins for WooCommerce sites you develop, and a set of plugins for real estate websites you develop, and a different set of plugins for blogs you develop, for each one of those you can create a collection and quickly and easily install everything that's needed for that type of website. So we have this collection right here that we already made, and all we have to do to install it is click on install and activate collection. So if I were to go to plugins, and in fact, I'm going to do this via WP Reset since that's what we're working with here. Go to tools. I'm going to delete plugins. Let's delete all the plugins. WP Reset will remain active. The other plugins will be deleted. And I'm going to delete the themes as well. The WordPress themes might stay. Nope, they're all gone. All four themes deleted. So if I go to Appearance and Themes, they're all gone. Uh, we have no theme currently. Plugins, we only have one. Go back to WP Reset Pro. Go to Collections. Now this is a collection of plugins and the theme Astra that I like to have on all our website installs. If I wanted to add a new plugin or theme, we can just click on New. We can choose a plugin or a theme. We can choose to go through wp.org or a zip file that we upload. And here we do a search. So if I wanted to add, let's see, WooCommerce, for example, just add WooCommerce, click on Add New Item. Now WooCommerce is part of this collection. And these collections are also stored inside your WP Reset account. New Site Build is the name of this collection. It's got five plugins and one theme. And that's this one right here, one, two, three, four, five plugins and one theme. And to install them, the whole set, like I said earlier, you go to install and activate collection, or you can install and activate them individually. You can also delete them from your list here. I'm gonna go ahead and install and activate all of them by clicking that. And we'll just wait till this is done. Don't click okay, just wait till this is done processing. Elementor Pro didn't work. I'll tell you why in a minute. Well, I'll show you. I could tell you now, but it's more effective if I show you. All right, so everything worked except for Elementor Pro. The reason it didn't work is that I don't have cloud set up with this current install. So let's go back out of here. Thanks for sending me to that. Uh, so if we go to settings, cloud service is currently disabled. We can choose WP Reset Cloud, Dropbox, Google Drive, pCloud, pCloud EU, and Ice Drive. What the cloud does is it lets you save zip files of pro plugins in the cloud to be used in collections. So Elementor Pro here is a zip file denoted by this little sign here. We can't get that from the WordPress repository. That has to come from either Elementor's website, which is not convenient for the plugin to do, or we download it from the website and we upload it to the cloud and connect it to our collections here. So to make all that work, we have to have a cloud, cloud service activated, which just requires you doing this, for example. And now cloud service is registered to w WP Reset, which comes with our reset account. And now I have to delete this and, and try it again. I'll do that. Let's delete that item. Let's add a new plugin, zip file. Choose the zip file, Elementor Pro. You can add a license key here as well. Elementor Pro requires a login now. Actually, for quite some time, they've required a login. But there's always been a secret page where you could still enter a license key. And I think that still exists. I have a video that shows you how to do that. I'll link to that in the card up above if you want to see what that is or how that works. But you should be able to enter a license key here. And it may or may not work when activating Elementor Pro. Anyhow, we add that new item. Now this is going to be stored in the cloud. And it shows here where it's stored. And now if we go ahead, we could run it all again, but we're not gonna waste time doing that. So I'm just gonna go to Actions and install and activate just Elementor Pro. And now it's gonna go through and install and activate Elementor Pro. And it worked. If we go to Plugins, we see we have all of our plugins here. We have WooCommerce installed. We have Astra as our theme. 
and I believe that's the only theme we have. It wouldn't install the WordPress themes. So we have just the Astra theme. You can have as many themes and plugins in your collections as you want. And you can have as many collections as you want. I'm pretty sure there's no limit to collections, I don't think. So you can quickly and easily get your sites up and running after you reset them. And there's more. There's one more. There's a bunch of other features that are minor. There's one more major feature that WP Reset gives you, and that's the ERS. This is the emergency recovery script. So if something goes really, really sideways on a client website, on a live production website, it's not such a big deal. On a development website, you can just delete it and restart. But on a live website, the ERS can save your buns. And what it is, is basically a script that you download here. You click on download, you upload it, to the root directory of the website via FTP or via file manager. And then you go to the URL, your domain name, plus the file name right here to open the file, enter this password, and it's gonna recover your site. And what it can recover you from, if you can't access the admin, when there's core files that are compromised, either accidentally or through malware, or you get the white screen of death, or whatever reason allows you to not, or is blocking you from logging into your WordPress site, the ERS can fix it or at least get it to the point where you can log in and address the problem, whatever the problem may be. If you are able to log into your website, the ERS is not required. It's only for like super emergency situations. I find that to be awesome. If you have any kind of service where you're doing malware recovery for clients or thinking of starting that service, WP Reset could be right up your alley because this could save a lot of websites, just this one feature. And WP Reset, the free version works great, but the paid version is currently on AppSumo. This is it right here. For $49, you get it for lifetime. I bought this on AppSumo years ago, and I've been using it pretty regularly, especially when I develop websites, which isn't that often, but semi-regularly. There's no tiers, no stacking, no nothing. Just 49 bucks, and this is what you get. And that gives you access to the emergency recovery script, access to WP Reset Cloud to store your collections. The free version, like I said, works just fine. But if you want to have an upgraded experience with those extra features, this could be the thing for you. It's also currently on sale for Black Friday. Who knows how long it's going to be here. It might be gone right after Black Friday. I'm not sure. But yeah, 10% off because it's Black Friday. And something else you don't want to miss because it's Black Friday is the Black Friday giveaway. You can enter to win an Apple Vision Pro headset for free. Seven people are going to win one of these things. And they're going to get it totally for free. All they have to do is enter the email address. So I guess it costs something. It costs an email address entered into here. It's got to be a real one as well because they're going to email you at that email address to tell you you won. I recommend you go here, click on the link in the description down below, and make sure you opt in to this because why not? It's free. And there's another link down below that takes you, where to go? That takes you to the WP Reset page. That is an affiliate link. If you click on that and you end up buying, I do get a credit for that. It does not make it more expensive for you. This makes it so that AppSumo sends me some commission for your purchase, and that helps me keep making these videos for free. Next up, you should watch this video right here, which shows you all the must-have plugins that I think should be on every website, and therefore should be in the WP Reset collections that you're going to create after you watch this video. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.